Clara. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've been on YouTube and I have missed you guys. I did end up going on vacation, just taking a little bit of a break, only for a few days. I did end up going to Vegas, like I have been saying over and over again in my previous hauls, and it was amazing. I didn't have enough money though to rent a car, so I was not able to visit any of their Dollar Trees. But if you visit um, other channels like Lauren Wesley's channel, she has great hauls that she does. And I was so sad that I wasn't able to see Lauren um, or able to see one of my subscribers that I was hoping to meet. Her name is, um, well, it begins with an A, I can't, I can't tell you. But anyway, so uh, maybe next time. I really hope to have a, another vacation next year in Vegas. Um, next month, I do plan on going to Chicago and meeting Deb. Hopefully, we'll visit some Dollar Trees down there, though. So if you are in the Chicago area and you have any Dollar Trees that you really, really like, please do let us know. I honestly have been trying really hard to catch up on people's hauls. I'm not exactly sure if the stuff I bought is new or not. A lot of the stuff is new to me. So I found quite a few cards and I was so happy. When I was planning my wedding, I designed my own invitations and I went through that whole thing. I went through like 20 different designs. I love paper. So this first one is my favorite one that I picked up and it's by the Spritz brand. This is a brand that is carried at Target and they make all sorts of paper products and party invitation products. These are thank you cards that come in a 10 pack. They are gray with multiple colors of birds and there's clouds on them as well. And it comes with blue teal-ish envelopes. I also picked up this set of thank you cards by the Spritz brand. It also is a 10 pack. It has a little cupcake with a little teal flower on the top. And one more Spritz brand of thank you cards. These are in a blue and green color with white envelopes. I did see other designs as well. I thought those were really, really cute. Definitely keep an eye out in your Dollar Tree for these. I also found other boxes of cards. They are made by the Carlton brand. They are 24 note cards with 24 envelopes and as you can see it's of the Eiffel Tower. This will be going to a certain friend whose name starts with a D who loves Paris stuff and I'm sure all of you know who that is. I also picked up these note cards that are very simple. It's an American greetings company, the designers collection. They are a box of 10 cards and as you can see they are pink. They also had a blue color as well. And the last pack of cards were these thank you cards by, I believe it's actually by a Target Corporation. I can't really tell because there's the UPC code on top, but it does peek out a little bit there. It's a 24 count box something by Target Corporation. Maybe it's the Mara Me, maybe it's the Spritz. It's probably more the Mara Me. Um, but these are really nice. These are actually, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but you can actually feel the print on there. I can't remember if it's thermographed or whatever. I know, I'm a total paper nerd. You could use these for so many different things as thank yous for birthday gifts or wedding gifts, shower gifts. I also picked up this Gartner product. It is a tablecloth that I'm gonna use probably for my daughter's birthday party. I did find a bunch of the scarves that they had. I really tried to limit myself to only two. Chevron one, I'm sure you've seen this on other people's hauls or on Instagram by now, um, but it has the black, is it black or super dark blue? I don't know, it doesn't matter, but um, the black chevron pattern amongst a vertical stripe. I love this one. This is very, very summer, spring-ish. It is a purple, yellow, orange, and pink um, chevron pattern. I think I could put this on my purse and leave it on there all summer long. My niece's birthday is coming up next week, so I'm going to put this in her birthday package. This is the Hot Jewels Metallic Temporary Tattoos. Essentially, it's body jewelry. I saw this at CVS today, and it definitely was not a dollar. It shows you what the collection includes, which is so cool. There's so many different things that she could do with this. She might hang out with her friends and decide to use a certain necklace, and then the next time use a different necklace. I just think that is so neat. As you probably know, they have so many school supply stuff now, and I'm kind of like, no, no, we're not ready for the school supply stuff, but 
that's okay. Um, even though it's not even August yet, I still do recommend grabbing something if you think it's cute. I think this is one of the items that are going to be picked up pretty quickly uh, just because it has owls on it and owls are super, super popular at the Dollar Tree. They really have been paying attention to what their fans really like. Uh, I only picked up one. They had several designs. Um, but it essentially is a pencil case and you just slip it out. It is a soft case, so I wouldn't put anything in here that's too fragile, but certainly, you know, you can put the markers, the pens, the pencils, the crayons. Uh, you could put makeup brushes in here. I actually plan on giving this to my daughter. Um, we're going to continue to do a lot of more painting kinds of stuff. She's been totally into that this summer. I'm gonna put all of her brushes in here and she has been loving watercolors. So I picked these things up for her. This is by Crazy Art. Um, I don't think it's a Dollar Tree brand. I could be wrong. But um, anyway, so it's non-toxic watercolors. Just make sure though, if you do see this, that they're, the paint trays do look like they have at least some amount of paint in them. I know it's, I don't expect too much of it really because it's really just more for practice anyway with fine motor stuff. You know, these kinds of kits, they always come with free brushes. So that's what this guy is gonna be for. For her bigger kinds of brushes and other painting, I picked up one of these. I've been eyeballing these ever since like last year and you know by now that they have like the red and the yellow and the other kinds of colors. So this is a brush washer. I'm honestly not exactly sure how this works. So I'm just gonna open this up. Come in a two pack and um, it looks pretty neat because it does have a stopper in it. You know, they would stick the brush in the hole there and it would just kind of rest in there. And it's nice that it has this lip so that they could take the brush and then wipe off any excess paint. Picked up a couple soaps that I saw that were new to my Dollar Tree. These are Ovation soaps by the Silkiants brand. And if that sounds familiar to you at all, it might be because they have a lot of shampoos that come to the Dollar Tree. I haven't tried the shampoos yet, um, but the soaps seem to be pretty good. So I was looking at it at the store and it doesn't seem to be that runny. It seems to be equivalent somewhat to the Clar and Danver soaps, which are in most Dollar Trees by now. Maybe not as thick though as a soft soap. The scents that I found were Pear Paradise. And this one almost has a sweeter smell than, uh, I don't know if you remember the Pear lotion that Victoria's Secret used to have back in the day. I don't even know if they have that anymore. They probably still do. And this one is in the Lavender Vanilla. It definitely smells like Lavender Vanilla to me at least. It's not as strong of course as something like the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Lavender Vanilla, but I don't expect it to be. It's a very nice relaxing kind of smell. They also had a bunch of different kinds of chicken soup for the soul soups. Picked up the beef barley soup, also the lentil and beef. This Campbell's Soups for Easy Cooking, Creamy Herb and Garlic with Chicken Stock. The last Campbell's items were some light soups of the home style Campbell's brand. This is the light Southwestern style vegetable and the light savory chicken with vegetables. Picked up a gigantic can of the Eden's Kitchen pineapple slices. I like putting those in smoothies sometimes. Full size bottle of the Kraft Cannellina dressing, another one of these. And I also picked up the Crying Tiger Sriracha hot chili sauce. The Golden Home Ultra Thin Pizza Crust. These are a staple in our house. We use these maybe two or three times a month. It's super easy. It takes like 10 minutes to put together a pizza. This is the Idahoan Steakhouse Cheddar and Parmesan. We had this with a baked chicken, Betty Crocker loaded mashed potatoes, Idahoan Steakhouse Real Butter with mashed baby reds. These are still at my Dollar Tree, so I decided to just pick up all of the brown rice ones. Um, I picked up five of these. These are the Farmer's table grains, whole grain brown rice. These are so easy to use at dinner time. It takes 45 seconds to heat. They don't have any preservatives or flavorings or artificial colors. Well, they have several sticker by number stuff. This is a Greenbrier International brand, so you should be able to find it if you're interested. Um, we love doing stuff with numbers, so this will be a fun activity for her. Plus, she can use the fine motor um, 
development with picking the stickers off and placing them in the spot where they're supposed to be. I have been really into gardening <laughs> this summer, even though I have such a small garden. So I am planning on doing a fall garden as well, and then you harvest in the late fall or even you can harvest in the winter. So I will be doing some radishes, spinach, Swiss chard, and some carrots. Those were 10 cents each. I picked up an agenda scheduling um, book. I like these kinds of planners specifically because I like planners that have the whole month in them so that you can see everything at once for one month. And then it also has the daily kind of thing so you can go through what your tasks are. I typically do everything on Google Calendar, you know, since I use Gmail and, um, you know, I can have alerts set to my phone. So this one will be specifically for some health goals I will be working on. I have been looking for the cat mug for a certain friend out there. I had sent this mug to somebody else. My friend whose YouTube name starts with an F, she had mentioned that she was looking for this. So this will be going to her. So this will be going to her. I had shown these designs a few hauls ago. They had this in purple and in orange. I'm gonna be putting these in our coat closet and then these big baskets as well. These will be going underneath my daughter's bed. Um, I love these long baskets because it is perfect for areas where you kind of wish there was a drawer but maybe there's no way that you could buy one or you don't want to make the commitment to actually install something permanent there. So these are great because they just slide so easy and you know you could put this on an upper shelf, you could put it on, on, on the floor, you could put it underneath your own bed in the master bedroom. One more food item, this is the Nature's Harvest Premium Cranberry and Almonds Snack Bar. And as I've said multiple times before, I usually only like bars like this if they have the whole almonds in them so I'm excited to try this out. A brush for the boo. They had two kinds of frozen brushes as far as I could tell. Um, they had an Olaf one and then they had one with Elsa and Anna on them. And I was so excited because years ago I had seen that some Dollar Trees had started carrying Nivea. I have never ever ever seen Nivea at our Dollar Trees until now. This is one of the little travel canisters of the cream and it does come sealed which is really nice. I also picked up this LA Colors lipstick in mauve glaze. This is actually the lipstick that I'm wearing now. I was thinking the other day how much I love this lipstick. I've been wearing it for I think over a year and no matter how many makeup products I buy I tend to gravitate just towards a few products that I really like and that work really well so I'm always afraid that they're gonna discontinue stuff because that does seem to happen to me quite often but yeah I love love this lipstick they have so many other colors but this one specifically I really like and then lastly I don't know if this works does this work has anyone tried this out uh, it's just so funny because you know if you have seen the hair removal strips by Celestial Body which is a name brand it looks exactly like this box doesn't it there is the same size and the same lady that's like you know on the box um, so I don't know I didn't think the Celestial Body strips were by the Dollar Tree but Maybe they are, maybe they're all made by the same people, I don't know, but this one specifically um, is by the Assured brand, which is a Dollar Tree brand. So I don't know if this works or if it's very similar to the Celestial Body ones. I am probably one of those very few people out there that does like the Celestial Body ones, only though for the removal of fine hair. It says it's for face and underarms. So I only bought one. It comes. <laughs> So I only bought one, it comes in a three pack, and if you've used this, let me know if it works. All right, so that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. If you have found anything cool in your Dollar Tree these past few weeks, please do let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.